This is a fairly typical project for our teams here at TLS Labs. On this project, the homeowner was sold flush, thin, retrofit windows that slip into the frames of the older aluminum windows. The installers probably did not have adequate training to attempt this project. This, vid this video will also demonstrate some building envelope leaks that are under a three-coat stucco cladding. We are testing a white vinyl sliding glass door, yet the leak that we're observing here is from the original aluminum sliding glass door. This test is about, what, two minutes old, three minutes old? Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my goodness, hold on. And we have another leak. This is a wall leak. Oh my. That's not good. Every option turns off before it hits the electrical box. And we have an electrical, uh, exterior electrical fixture. It's probably not flashed. The water's coming in behind this waterproof membrane. And that is a nasty leak. Okay, Tom, turn it off. This is from an unflashed exterior electrical fixture. nasty yeah so when people ask us why they have to flash their electrical fixtures we should just show them this video so now we begin testing the window adjacent to the door this is the retrofit window and we can see water coming in under the flange of the retrofit window so this is the new window installation making not the old window you can see the water filling up it goes. And water over the top of the new window. And this is because we don't have enough sealant between the flush fin of the retrofit window and the old window. Okay, let's turn it off. That's what happens when you don't install retrofit windows correctly. Yeah, this is the retrofit window that just leaked. You can see that they trimmed the flush fin so that it would fit inside this wood, what we would call a planton, wood planton. So they trimmed the fin. They finished the uh, sealant off with sealant on the outside but I would say there's definitely not enough sealant certainly behind on the open the water has been turned on okay. moments ago and that is far less than a minute she's telling me that we got water coming up at the top oh yeah So this leak is about 30 or 45 seconds. And this is between the old window and the new window. So we know that this is a result of poor sealing of the flush exterior fin. And that is a big enough leak where we need to turn the water off fast. I tell them to turn the water off. Okay, we've applied water now for about 60 seconds. <clears throat> and this is a wall system leak. Can you hold the light on it? Looks like it's coming from. 
come up here. So it looks like we have a penetration. They jammed a fastener through the stucco and did not seal it well. That looks like this fastener through the stucco is allowing a significant amount of water to drip through. This is why it's dangerous to just jam fasteners through stucco without being careful. Okay, the concern here is the, the wood had decay in this room. There's so much water intrusion that the framing was decayed, so they tore the old framing out and they put some new framing in. The problem is that the stucco fasteners, the lath fasteners, are not attached to the new framing. So what that means is that if the lath is not attached to the framing, that field of stucco, the wall of stucco on the outside could, could uh, just fall off if it's not fastened to the wall. Big wind, earthquake. Now that stucco would fall right off the wall since it's not fastened to the framing. So now we're in bedroom number, bedroom number two, right? Two. Bedroom number two, we've just started the test of the window. A little bit, about five seconds into this. Water spills over, wow. And that is clearly on the back side of the new nail fin. You can see the water coming down the back side of the new nail fin. You can see it right there, to the right of my light. And this is occurring because there's not enough sealant. Uh-oh, there's that dripping down there. Once again, this is what happens when you don't use enough sealant behind a nail fin. Okay, tell me to stop. So this test lasted all of about 60 seconds. Okay, here we are. We're testing a wall system. It's leaking already on the inside. It's leaking. Okay, Epi's telling me that we just started this test and it's leaking on the inside. So, there are some penetrations here. We get a vent and an exhaust. But we're just applying a Water spray at the rate of five gallons per square foot per hour. Which is not that much water. It's a heavy rain. It's commensurate to a heavy rain. Okay, now we're on the inside of the test we just saw from the outside. And how long has it been leaking? Uh, the leak is about one minute. Can you... That leak is already headed out this way. The water's crossed the floor. And this is behind a tub, so it'd be hard to hard to see until it comes out. Okay, and this leak occurred at what about one minute of testing is it? One, one minute. One minute. Okay, so this is a wall system leak. 
All right, we started this test about 30 seconds ago. About 30 seconds, right, Prison? Yes, I got 30 There we go. It's over the over the top of the window. We're about three minutes into this test. The top of the window is full of water. And this must be the low point because that's where it came over. As you can see, do me a favor, please hold that light up there. A little wet all up in here. This entire top of this entire window is wet. So, yeah, it's a lot of water. And again, this is between the new window and the old window. So this is what happens when you don't use enough sealant between the flush exterior fin of the new window and the old window. 